So my HP 21 MX or Series 2000 or HP 22112, so those are his three names, has arrived. And it's a beautiful mini computer. And I just uh, opened it up to check what's inside. So at the back, uh, let's see if you can do it with one hand, probably not. Let me put you down here for a second. All right. So, nice complement of cards here. Let's see if you can put a little bit of light. Termination bus IO I just added. It's probably not in the right slot. That's a GPIB card. Uh, it's a couple of cards. That's for the tape reader. It has a magnetic tape card, which is nice. Uh, and uh, buffered TTY so as a terminal, so it looks like it's a fairly basic machine, except for the magnetic magnetic tape. So it's probably one of the early ones. Uh, it has actually the early memory card in it. Um, luckily, we can see what kind of number it was. Serial fifteen forty eight A something. Can check what that is. But uh, otherwise, in fairly good shape. Uh, and in the front, I need a screwdriver from somewhere. There. And so here it goes. Nicely designed machine, of course. This HP stuff at their best. And uh, so that's the rub here. So it has the DC PC, DMA, so that's good. Memory protect, that's good. Uh, but the memory controller is one of the early one, is the 2102A. Uh, and only 24K of memory, three of the 8K modules, and uh, no mem card, and I think no uh, DMS card. We'll, we'll try to hunt for it in a second. So I think I kind of stuck here, probably only can uh, support 32K unless I put the uh, added memory from what I understand. my understanding is fairly limited at this point. I'm a newbie. I just opened it up and didn't read all the material I should have read. Uh, and I'm getting a lot of help from the people on the classic computer list. Let's see if I can flip it over. So I was told on the classic complist that uh, there is a DMS card that goes over here. And, okay, here's the, what I believe is the processor main board. And there is one attachment here, and I don't know what it is. It's probably microcode for something, but I don't know if it's the DMS card or not. It says. 506080400. It's hard to read. I don't know if you can read it. Um, uh, so I'll ask uh, some more. Uh, but I do. So I have obviously some microcode here, but I don't think I have the extended memory one, which is consistent with the fact that this computer uh, was hooked to a a uh, tape reader, uh, uh, a paper tape reader, which is one of those two boxes here. And uh, I also scored a 7900 disk, uh, but it's doubtful it was connected to this computer because this, the, the, the computer doesn't have the card. 
All right, so I did a little bit more unpacking of the HP 1000 system. So I, I bought everything that I could find that this guy had. And um, this is the paper tape reader. And also in, I'm in okay shape. Um, it's missing a cover here, but I suspect this is purely uh, cosmetic. I can probably remake another one. I will remake another one. Uh, so, and uh, here's the power supply for the disk drive. And here's the disk drive with, hallelujah, all of its cables. So that's very, very good. The removable platter for the disk drive. And I unpacked the removable platter. Young guys, this is what a hard disk really is. Kind of 10 inch platter, you can, you can see the disk through here. It all went down from there. Probably just a couple megabytes, but a nice piece. And it slides in the door over here, and there's a fixed platter. Uh, hey, very nice hardware. So it's not. It kind of confirms my suspicion that this machine was probably a very early simple machine and I have the original board arrangement except for the uh, HPIB card I put in there and because there is a serial card uh, or not serial card an 8-bit card that can talk to a paper tape uh, reader which would be this one and uh, there was a paper tape punch which I didn't buy because it was in poor shape and so there are two cards for that in the back of the machine and a magnetic tape uh, and a TTY, right? So that's what this machine was. Probably a paper tape uh, and a magnetic tape early machine with 24K of memory. And then just for fun, I couldn't resist. That's not the correct period, but this is such a nicer looking terminal than the, the, the big original ones. Uh, is a little HP whatever uh, terminal, miniature terminal from the uh, 1980s and I have an interface card coming so I can hook it up have a little, little bit of fun. So lots of restoration in perspective here with this uh, system and I have the uh, 7970 tape downstairs so I should be able to build a, a nice uh, thing, a nice computer.